Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Oracle of Seasons. I'm Carbworth Lawyer and on the last episode we beat the Explorer's Crypt, netting us the seventh essence in the world, meaning there's only one left. But unfortunately the Maku Tree doesn't know where it is, but luckily for us, there's a big fucking black mark on the map. So, um, hopefully it's there, otherwise we're kind of screwed, but, um, you know, it's, it's a good place to go explore. Um, you'll notice I have two more heart pieces than I did in the last episode, and that's because I went and got the single-handedly hardest two heart pieces I've ever gotten in my life, wasting seven hours of my my life trying to get them. Um, it might have been more, but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just say it was seven to make myself feel better. Now, these two heart pieces are completely random to get. Um, one you get, um, Maple the Witch will drop it randomly, the other you get from the Gasha Tree, it will grow it randomly as a prize. Um, there's a bunch of different thoughts on how these happen. I don't know too much about the Maple one, uh, because I didn't research it as much, because I got Maple after an hour and a half, as opposed to seven hours of... And that's just playing the game, um, not the, counting the time that I've researched, that's why I'm saying it might be... Oh god, I, I wasted so much time. Um, uh, but, uh, disregarding that, though. Um, maple will appear and the trees will grow after about you kill 30 or monsters or so. Um, there's two rings, the maple and gasha ring, uh, which make them come about half as many monsters, so about after 15. Um, so I totally suggest getting those if um, you're going after those. I got lucky and I actually got the maple and gasha rings as prizes um, from bumping into uh, maple and the growing gasha trees. I, uh, you know, they gave up rings and I got them as prizes and I went and appraised them and it was good. Um, apparently also the Gasha Ring makes your Gasha Tree grow into better stuff. I'm not sure if that's completely true, but it seems to be, um, so that's good. Um, with Gasha Trees though, uh, the harder to reach soil it is, apparently will grow you better stuff. Um, the soil that I'm at right now was the soil that got me my heart piece, and I'll, I'll talk about it more in a second. Um, apparently the more monsters you kill, the more s secrets you find, and if you complete dungeons in between grow uh, putting a seed in and picking it, it apparently gives you better chances of getting better prizes. Um, so that's, that's kind of like the thought on it. Um, this spot that I'm at though is like the best, um, because it's in a very hard to reach spot I assume, um, because it's, you know, way out of your way, it's not just in like, uh, Horon Village, uh, but it's also very easy to get to because, uh, it's right next to a warp point, and right in these two spots there's an infinite amount of Armos giving you as many monsters you need to kill as possible, uh, to actually grow it. Um, with the Gasha Seeds, though, if you run out of Gasha Seeds, which you probably will, because I, oh god, I had so many Gasha Seeds, um, it wouldn't surprise me if I had over 50, I don't know how many I've, I've had, I don't know, I, I wasn't counting Gasha Seeds, there was a point when I was killing mon uh, counting monsters that I killed, I killed over a thousand Armos, that's, that's not even exaggerating, I killed over a thousand Armos, fuck those guys, um, they're easy to kill, though, so, um, once you have the Magic Boomerang, or whatever it's called, level 2 Boomerang, uh, so Armos are easy to kill, there's an infinite amount right next to this point, which makes growing seeds easy. To get Gasha Seeds, though, um, you can probably get them from the dancing game in Symprosia. I'm not good at that, so I didn't bother with that. The two ways I got them is through uh, Syrup the Witch in the Sunken City. She sells them for about 300 um, rubies a pop. Uh, and Sabrosia, the marketplace, will sell them for 100 ore chunks and 20 cent seeds. Uh, they start off cheaper, get more expensive, and that's the most expensive they get. Um, you can also buy them from the secret shop in, in uh, Horon Village, but they run out after a while, and I think you can get two or three from them before they run out. Uh, and there's also the Advance Shop, which if you're playing this game on a Game Boy Advance, uh, that sells, I think they sell some, but I haven't figured out how to get that to work, which is weird because I'm playing it on an emulator, and even if I set it to play as a Game Boy Advance, it doesn't work. I don't know. It's very, I'm very bad at this whole compute. Well, I'm not bad at computers, that's a lie. Um, but we've talked about that long enough, uh, about five minutes according to my recording. I'm sorry for that. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and go after that next es essence. I just wanted to talk about that real quick because those are very hard heart pieces to get, seeing as it took me seven hours. Uh, when I finally got it, I fell over laughing and hit my head on a bedpost. And uh, that was that was, that was that was painful. <laughs> um, but that's not important because uh, we're, we're playing Zelda. All pain will go away. Um, speaking of pain, I'm not feeling very well, so I'm sorry if I sound a bit off, but um, I had a, a chance to record, so I figured why not? Uh, hopefully I don't sound too bad. I apologize if I do. Uh, my, my audio might also sound different because I'm not in my uh, at my house right now. Um, so, you know, it's a plethora of weird stuff. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started into that uh, area of the map where we haven't been, so we can check for, um, you know, the heart piece. Um, Oh, the, these dark nuts remind me. In the other episode, I had a problem with the a jumping puzzle in the Explorer's Crypt. Apparently, if you use your magnetic gloves, you can push and pull the Armos, making the 
the puzzle easier because uh, you can go about it a different way um, which is really awesome and no matter how many times I've played this game I've never ever tried that or if I did I just don't really remember so I, I'm just gonna assume I haven't um, which I think is really neat if I see more uh, dark nuts I'll have to try it out to see if it works um, if it doesn't it's probably just special dark nuts in there um, but I think that's way cool um, this area right here, though, is very, very special because it's not just a normal area, it's the Temple of Seasons. This is where the Temple of Seasons was before it fell into Subrosia, and uh, very fitting, it has a, a portal to Subrosia right there, so, you know, it makes sense that it fell into Subrosia, unless, you know, Subrosia is literally underneath the ground. I've always liked to think it was in a separate dimension thing, but uh, that's not important. It fell into Subrosia, there's portals to Subrosia, shit makes sense. Um, since this is the Temple of Seasons, after all, we're actually, no, we need to make it summer to grow some vines, because I saw a little vine shoot thing over here um since it's the temple seasons and all it's probably gonna revolve around the whole you know seasons thing uh especially since it's the last like transit to a dungeon and uh there's nothing up, up there so we're probably gonna have to look around uh hopefully there's something close by well of course there's gonna be something close by there's only so many maps that we can go through and i'll go ahead and kill this one and then we can test out the glove like i was talking about uh it seems to stop him like he can't move it doesn't seem to push and pull him. Um, actually, it looked like it worked there. Maybe uh, he was just running at it me to kill me, but I think I think it works. I'm gonna go ahead and just assume it does because that's just really cool if it does. Um, just that they would go to the level of detail that like, oh, these are these enemies are wearing armor. The magnetic gloves should push them. That's really cool. And I'm not gonna bother with you because I don't want to lose any more hearts because I really want my sword beam back. So hopefully we'll find some more hearts. And um, what do I need to call Moosh for this? Actually, can Moosh even make that gap? I I have a feeling even with our um, Pegasus Seed, well, Moosh isn't going to come, so we might as well just try the Cape. Um, cape and Pegasus Seed, see if that works. I don't think it will, but, uh, you know, a man can dream. Yeah, a man cannot dream. Uh, let's go ahead and get our stuff back. I'm thinking if we either make it winter or uh, autumn, it will fill it in with either snow or leaves, because uh, that's happened before. Well, I guess winter more with... Um, it fills it in, like, makes platforms, so I don't think Autumn will, uh, uh excuse me, sorry for the sniffling, uh, I don't think, uh, uh, winter, I don't think winter will, uh, work, but, um, you know, Autumn's right there, so we might as well so try it, and it works, and, uh, I think these might crumble, uh, so be careful on that, uh, because they've crumbled before whenever there's been, like, you know, holes that the, the leaves fill in. Um, we'll go ahead and assume that we need to make it winter, since we've gone through every other season, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bet that we either need to make it winter to get by or need to make it summer again to climb down those things that look like there's rocks in the way. So I'm gonna hope that, you know, like like the little platforms that they do with the area you can walk on with the snow. I'm gonna hope that we can do that, and it is. I just need to flop my rockscape, and that should put us into the, the portal of Subrosia, which is always a good thing. I always like, you know, going to hell. Um... So here we are, and you can see that I have a load of ore chunks because I, I literally was just digging forever in the, um, the beach. Uh, emulator speed function helped, but not, not so much. Oh, uh, look, it's a subrosion, and he threw a shield in the lava. And it's, I could have used that art piece earlier, you a fish? Uh, so he's just throwing stuff in. Oh, this shoots off huge fireworks. Um, well, if he's throwing stuff in, we might as well throw something else in. It's gonna shoot off huge fireworks? I'm gonna throw my own firework in. So, and he just threw a map and Oh, well, um, I guess that's, you know, shooting off fireworks. It's more of a volcano eruption, but... Oh, no! That's more volcanoes! That can't be good. Well, it's at least... It's only hammering in hell, but now it's destroying nature. I'm so sorry, nature! It's gonna kill so many... An well, there's not really any animals there. There's just, you know, a bunch of monsters, so it'll be okay. But, um, hopefully they don't mind us defiling where uh, a temple used to be. It should, it should be fine. It's just, you know, a bunch of, you know, magma, lava, whatever the hell that is now. You did it! Cool! Yeah, that was that was pretty cool. We just, you know, destroyed nature. I always appreciate that. Um, if you move that rock there, you can get back there easier, but you really don't have any reason to go back there ever again. Um, I don't think unless you just want to talk to that guy and just reminisce about that one time that you destroyed an ecosystem. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop in there, because, um, you know, bombable wall, why not? Uh, so let's go ahead and hop over here, and oh, it's a heart piece. Um, this is the actually last heart piece in the game, because uh, now we have one uh, heart container left, and that's going to be from the next dungeon. So we now have all 12 heart pieces in this game, so um, congratulations us, we did it. And where's my, oh, there's there's my cape, my cape is on my, my uh, B button that uh, got lost to me for some reason. 
Um, so yeah, now we have all the heart pieces. That's um, that's kind of why I wanted to get the heart pieces for this uh, in between the episodes, uh, so we could you know get the last one because I had a feeling that we'd be getting it here. Um, so now we have them all. That's that's always a good thing of uh, having all the heart pieces because uh, we are really at the end of the game. We have one more temple and then we get to go fight Onyx to get back uh, you know, the Oracle of Seasons. Uh, just in case you guys forgot the whole reason that we were on this um journey. Um, which I, I actually wouldn't blame you if you did, because, uh, you know, Onyx doesn't really make a big appearance. He's one of those just bad guys who waits at the, waits in his castle at the end and just waits for you to show up. Um, a very bad, bad guy at that, um, but that's not important. We're not here to critique, um, Onyx's, you know, kind of dumb decision to be a bad guy whenever he wasn't really fully prepared. Like, I mean, he could have killed us at the beginning, well... He did throw a tornado at us. I, I would have assumed I was dead if I threw a tornado at me. And it uh, looks like we're going to need magnetic gloves. Uh, and yeah, we're going to need them up there as well. So uh, we will be actually be able to get across this gap this time. Uh, there are Zoles, though. So um, Oh, good. He killed himself, so we don't have to worry about him knocking us off whenever we get over here. And I'll go ahead and keep it out, because they might want us to use it. More. No, there's going to be keys, and I'm going to have to get my sword out, because, you know, I don't want to have to deal with keys, but um, we do get to deal with block puzzles, and I love block puzzles. They're like those, those simple pleasures. It's it's like eating a, a, a cookie, but instead of a cookie, it's a block puzzle, and it makes me happy nonetheless, and I guess those two blocks are just, you know, there to throw you off. And um, some more Lynels. Um, I'm not sure that's how that's pronounced. I've always pronounced it that way. Um, not important, though, because uh, they're dead, so fuck them. And, um, you know, for a temple, this place has a lot of, like, caves. I assume this, you know used to be like the inside of the place and then you could walk through and it was like oh cool there's you know temple-y things in here like the ability to change the seasons let's go ahead and hop over here because there is a staircase hooray for staircases so now we should be near the end of this thing because you know we have like one more block space to go and you'll notice three more uh, black spaces that's where onyx's castle is um we've a we've always been able to go there ever since we could go there um, get into the, you know, that Hyrule, not Hyrule, Haldrum Plains area where, uh, that connects this whole swamp, but you can never get into his, uh, castle, because if you remember at the beginning, we need the essences to be able to break his barrier, which is why we've been going after these, um, also because, you know, they're, they're things to collect, and, um, if anyone's played Banjo-Kazooie, you want to collect everything that can be collected! Um, so now we're back in Sabrosia, but this is a little, uh, sectioned off area of Sabrosia, you can't get to here except by that portal, and, there it is, the last temple in the game, an angry looking vol- oh my- I was gonna say that this volcano is very menacing, um, and it used to kind of creep me out as a kid, but just look how derp he is, his eyes follow you, which could be really creepy, but they implement it in a way that like, you know, one eye could be like, meh, I'm a volcano now. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and break tradition, we're gonna go ahead and just hop into the dun dungeon, I mean, we only have like, 14 minutes into the episode, why not, let's, let's go ahead and go in. Sword and Shield Maze, the last temple in the game temple dungeon whatever the hell you want to call them um so yeah we've we've made it to the end wow um whenever you see the little statue guys like that you want to launch a seed into its eye because as you notice it doesn't have a pupil and if you launch a seed into its eye good shit happens the good shit in this case being a key um i actually very very vividly remember this one because i would overlook this uh this key to the very end i'd be like damn it i need a key where do i get it and then it's right there um, but those pupil things get harder because now there's three of them. Um, we can go ahead and launch a seed in their eye, but what's going to happen is they're going to turn off. We need to be able to shoot them in rapid succession. Rapid succession? Whatever. Um, we need to shoot them quickly. We can't shoot them fast enough. Um, so we'll have to find a way to rectify that problem. Hopefully we can do that, you know, within this t temple or else we're screwed out of whatever they were going to give us. Um, like these, we saw these guys before, um, they can be dicks, but what, the strategy you want to kind of implement is to push them into a corner, and then just beat the ever-living shit out of them, uh, that being, like, the best strategy I can think of. Um, so that's, that's what I have to say about that. Now, um, if you guys remember the thing with the, the magnetic ball, that's how you kill these guys, and you don't want to leave this room, uh, too early, uh, because, uh, I think you get a prize from it, and you get it from killing this guy, this is kind of, like, where you... Well, no, you have to do it in the other temple, but this is kind of where it was like, whoa, I can kill these guys, and it looked like there was a secret secret back there, so I'll go ahead and throw a bomb so we can get out, unless he... I only let's just drop a bomb here, and I... Oh, no, he's... He's broken the... No! Um, okay, I have a plan. I'll jump over him once he gets close, and then I'll pull it! Pull it! 
There we go. And I guess there wasn't a secret secret over there because uh, they just gave us the key. Um, you'll notice this dungeon's a bit weird. We just walked into a volcano and it's it's a fucking ice factory. What's up with that? Um, oh, my items are unorganized, but I, I, I can't care right now. We need we need to play. Um, so we're going to have to figure out what's up with this you know, whole ice thing. Um, a little secret, if you're having a little bit of trouble getting around on the ice, uh, swinging your sword kind of gives you a bit more control, so you can kind of mush your way across the ice a bit easier. Um, I like to do that sometimes if, you know, you start losing control, like right now, and you start getting your ass kicked by a bunch of anti-fairies. Anti-fairies? Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are the anti-fairies. Um, you don't move as fast, but you get a bit more control, which is always nice, and, uh, let's go ahead and check out what's down here before we use our key, because that's, that's kind of what I like to do. No, 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 I don't want to fall down the hole, but I, I just fell down the hole. Oh, well. Um, it only took a little bit of damage, so that's that's always a thing that we can live with. Um, yeah, so why is there ice here whenever it's a volcano thing? Um, if you remember, the name of this, this level is the Shored, the Shored and, Sh the Shored and Sweeled, uh, Sword and Shield Maze. Um, and just like a Shored and Sweeled, a Shored, oh, god damn it. <laughs> just like a Sword and Shield, they're kind of like, you know, opposites that work together. So, you know, there's ice, and now there's fire. It's a fire and ice uh, temple. It's called the Sword and Shield Maze because it's shaped like a sword and shield, which you'll be able to see once we get the map, which will be in a bit. Um, I always thought this was a really neat dungeon because, um, you know, it was it was 90s, and then it was like, oh, fire and ice together. You're fucking crazy, man. This is cool. Um, although I'm, I'm, I'm sure that idea has been explored forever, and oh, um, my wallpaper changed, and it scared the shit out of me, and I stopped looking at the game, and I ended up killing myself. Well, I didn't kill myself. I fell into the lava, which I guess would be killing myself, but you know. Um, but yeah, fire and ice. Now we're in the lava portion, because, um, the, uh, one floor is ice, one floor is fire. And, um, I didn't really just make the... I somehow managed to miss, like, the easiest jump in the... W oh, you soul. Zol, zol, zol. Are you gel? No, you're, you're... No, yeah, the, the red ones are gels, the green ones are souls. Uh, it doesn't matter. They're, they're all the same damn thing. And, oh, fire keys. Fire keys are douchebags. Um, oh, that was nice of him to drop a thing. I'm sorry for calling you a douchebag. Um, I still will retain that you're douchebags, though, because, um, unlike normal keys, they fly in the air. I know that sounds weird, but they're actually, um, like, above you on, like, a layer. Uh, I don't know if that makes any sense. Uh, but you can't kill them unless you jump or they swoop down to get you. So you need to, you know, actually kill them. Let's go ahead and kill you just in case we get a thing for killing you and we fall down a hole. Which is always a bad thing. Um, I think, yeah, that's a key, so let's go ahead and just check what's up here, because I like to check what's... Um, whoa, um, let's go ahead and just jump over these, because it looks like we can skip a little bit of hassle if we just skip over, um, skip, skip jump, you know, same thing, whatever. If we just jump over these, we can skip a little bit of hassle, uh, with those spikes. So we, now we got the compass. They seem to like to give us the compass before the map. I always like to get the map first and then the compass, but, you know, this game seems to disagree with me. Um, oh, look, like a spinner. I like these spinners. Uh, let's go ahead and just check out this way, because we know that way loops around. So we might as well just check what's, you know, crack a over here, and nothing's crack a over here. Anything? Uh, looks like there's a magnet thing, but um, actually maybe we should go back, because that feels like it progresses more in the temple. <coughs> and we don't want to, you know, progress too far and then be able to miss out on whatever's over here and have to loop around. Although now I think about it, we could very easily turn around, but, um, and just come back here. But that, that doesn't matter. I've, I've, I've made my choice, so, um... I guess that's going to happen and be a thing. Um, let's go ahead and kill these enemies, because I'm thinking once we kill these enemies, uh, we can push a block, which will bring the Zarmos to life, which will give us something down there, maybe? I actually... Is there anything down there? I can't really see. I think it's just cutting off, uh, you know, one block, so I can't really tell if there's anything down there. Uh, so, you know, killing the enemies is always a good start. Let's go ahead and just push these blocks, because that should bring the Zarmos to life. Um, I'm sure the owl's like, hey... Pushing blocks makes Armos come to life. Um, maybe we need to go ahead and just go wake up the Armos. Yeah, let's just go ahead and go wake up the Armos. Because uh, normally if you push them, they come to life. I guess not. Um, what else can we do? Uh, maybe a mystery seat on it. Um, if... No, not a mystery seat. Maybe if we just go ahead and mystery seed the owl, then will that work? A silent watch may be needed. A silent watch may be needed. Um... Maybe they want us to stand still then? That'd be a weird solution to the puzzle. I've been standing still for a while, nothing happening, nothing happening. Uh, I guess not. Maybe we just need to come back and then good shit will happen. Uh, that's what I'm going to take. I'd really like to know what's in there, but, uh, you know, we'll, 
We'll come back when we cross that path since we have a ball chain, ball chain trooper. I, I like these guys, you know. They're like first boss material. If, you know, Link to the Past, if you count the Hyrule Castle dungeon as a, as a, t a well, like, you know, opening level, I guess. And uh, I guess we're stuck here because, um, can we actually get down from here? No, we're, we're going to have to push that because, uh, if you look, the, the thing is, like, stuck, so we can't, like, get the leverage we need to push ourselves out, so I guess we do need to mess with that armor somehow, but uh, I don't know how to wake him up. Uh, silent Watch may be needed. Uh, only thing I could think is just standing still, but we've been standing still for a while, and nothing's happening. Now it's happening, so, um, you know, I guess shit's cash. I guess we, we're supposed to stand still, or, um, whatever it is, we win, and that's good. And, oh, there was a thing down here, so that's good. Uh, this should put us on the other, yeah, this will put us on the other side of the magnet ball. Uh, we can move it out of the way, and, you know, the world will be perfect. Where's my magnetic? Well, there it is. And I might probably go ahead and get my sword out, so let's just go ahead and put you there and grab my sword so we can kill fire keys um, when they come down, if they come down close enough. Let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, and it's the dungeon map, so now you guys can see that, you know, the, the short and sweeled maze is shaped like a short and sweeled. Uh, let's go ahead and push this on the button. Is that pushing it? Yeah. We want it to push because um, if we if we try to pull it and then swap it, it might fall into the lava and that would be, you know, annoying. And, you know, we want to avoid annoyances when we can. Uh, let's go ahead and put you back where you belong. And I can't believe my items have... Actually, no, you don't belong there. My items have already come unorganized, but, um, you know, I'm not going to worry about it. I, I can get past this problem of mine. It's, you know, it's just an item screen. It doesn't matter if it's unorganized. It'll be fine. It's not the end of the world. Uh, we'll go ahead and come over here, because... Wait, uh, do we do any... Oh, it looks like we're going to kill more Armos. Why did I put away my, um... My magical boomerang? Because the magical boomerang is the best way to kill these guys. Um, because, you know, throwing bombs is inaccurate and, uh, whatever. Because we get the Hyper Slingshot! It shoots three seeds at a time! Um, it's a, this is an interesting item, because like it said, it shoots three seeds at a time, but it only costs one, so you know, you get the most bang for your buck. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys. So you get, you know, three, so it's like, whoa man, you're shooting so many seeds at me. So uh, now we can go ahead and solve that puzzle at the beginning of the temple, um, once we make our way back there. But it, it might be a little while, I don't know how, how uh, far we're going to get in this temple. I'm thinking we might stop at the mini-boss once we get to the mini-boss. I don't know how far away the mini boss is, but um, actually no, we want to keep going this way because we might have the spinner in a way that will turn us and put us into that treasure chest, and then we can get whatever's inside of it. Although based on where it is, uh, it's probably just like you know a gaseous seed or something, and I don't care about gaseous seeds anymore. So fuck those things. In fact, I think I I have like three or four left over. Oh god, I had so many, so many gaseous seeds. Oh lord. Um, but now we're gonna need our magnet glove, magnetic glove, whatever. Uh, to get across because uh, there was that magnetic block of ma magnetic block of stuff over here that will get us across, and um, I don't really care what you say, Al, but um, I'll find out. Let's see if we can hit it with our new slingshot, which we should because it shoots ones. Icy cores make piercing blades. Um, that's that's very nice, Al. It's very nice. Um, well, we actually managed to hit them all nice. Um, see, like like I said, we can hit those those triple um, statue things now, so we can get through. Um, but first we need to get through, well, not first, because we've already done that, uh, we can go ahead and go through here, uh, because, you know, there's treasure here, why the fuck not, would we not go through here, because, you know, we unlocked it, and then it's like, hey, treasure, you like that stuff, and let me go ahead and pull out my, not my, not my that thing, I want my sword, and, uh, you know, it's a good thing my items came unorganized, because I would have had to reorganize them anyways, because the hyper slingshot is red, not blue, um, so, you know, I'm, I'm looking at positives here. I don't need to reorganize my items. Uh, so is this either tre- No, it's just another- Wow, they're just like, hey, you know small key- Small key things you like? Here's a lot of them. Um, which is good, because, you know, building up a little stock of them means we don't have to come back later. Um, although it looks like we're gonna have to spend them now, and, um, if they're filling us up, I'm thinking that there's gonna be a, a mini-boss on the other side of this, because normally they like to give you just a bunch of stuff to stock up on. Either that, or they're giving us seeds to, you know, seed up on, just in case you didn't- No, nah, yeah, it's a mini-boss. Oh, and I even remember this mini boss. I remember its name, in fact. This is a uh, Fry Polar. Uh, Fry Polar is a very interesting mini boss. Uh, we're not going to need this, uh, but we are going to need um, our our glove. Now, um, Fry Polar is he fits within the theme of this dungeon in that he's a fire and ice boss. Uh, there's two different ways to hurt him. Uh, one shooting an ember seed at him when he's in his ice form, and the other one um, is throwing an ice crystal at him when he's in his. Uh, fire form. You can throw ice crystals at him that he, uh, 
he makes ice crystals in his ice form, and you peg him with a mystery seed, and then you can pick them up. It's a bit convoluted, uh, the way to hurt him in his fire form, uh, but, you know, there's two ways to hurt him. Uh, the, the most reliable method, of course, being pegging him with em ember seeds. Uh, and, you know, we get a nice little scatter shot now, so it's, it's, it's nice, and let's go ahead and just do that since that's already there. Um, oh, well, I, I fucked up, so who cares? Uh, you can hurt him either way. I think you have to do, um, you have to damage him both ways at least once, I'm assuming. Uh, because, you know, they, they designed two ways. They'd want you to use them both. And we can go ahead and throw that ice crystal at him in his fire form. And he'll still be that way. And oh yeah, we killed him. So uh, he wasn't that hard. Um, he can be a bit tricky if you don't know how to hurt him in his fire form. Because then it can kind of, you know, drag on for a while. But, um, you know, we got him down. And uh, like I said, I think that, that might be a nice spot to end the episode. Uh, so in the next episode, we'll finish up the... the the short and sweeled maze and um get our last essence and shit will be cash so i'll see you guys then i love you